Hey, welcome to the YouTube version of the Empower From Within podcast. Before we dive into today's episode, I just want to let you know what it's all about. So what you're about to hear is a client testimony from my Just Launch program, which is a 10-week program that combines mindset, personal branding, and podcasting to help you launch the podcast of your dreams and start making the impact that you know deep down you're here to make. This interview happened inside my private Facebook community, Empower From Within, and we did it about halfway through my Just Launch program. So I'm excited for you to hear some of the transformation that my clients have experienced even just halfway through the program. And I'm excited to announce that Just Launch is now opening up for registration again this second time around. And so if you feel called, if you know that you have a message that you want to share in podcasting is the way to do it for you, but you don't really know where to start, or maybe you're lacking some confidence, you're lacking that roadmap to be able to start it, you're feeling, you know, beaten down by procrastination, then I think you're going to love the Just Launch program. Feel free to message me here, comment, you can join the Facebook community, get in touch with me so we can see if Just Launch is the right opportunity for you. I hope you enjoy today's episode and I hope to see you soon. All right. Welcome, everybody. I am I'm so excited for today's conversation. Today, I am bringing you Devin, who is in my Just Launch program, to share a little bit about his experience and his journey into podcasting and building his business. So welcome, Devin. Do you want to start off with just sharing a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Uh, what's going on, Jess? What's going on, people uh, watching on the live and on the replay? Um, yeah, my name is Devin. A uh, little bit about me, been in sales for since 2019, 2018, 2019. Um, that's kind of when I started my journey into entrepreneurship. Uh, so really did door-to-door sales and kind of learned the nuances and the challenges that come up with uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, we kind of talked about that in some of the other calls. Uh, from there, uh, yeah, COVID happened. And uh, it was pretty interesting. And from there, kind of pivoted, started learning more about the online space, uh, more about content creation, all that good stuff. And uh, now I kind of have my own coaching business um, where we kind of help people uh, start, you know, in the in online space. But it's been super fun. Uh, play a lot of sports. Not so much right now because my ankle's fractured. But yeah, doing good uh, on this side. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this. Mhm yeah amazing and you're doing incredible you know i didn't i never realized that you started your business in 2019 too very interesting um so let's talk about your i mean you just said you're doing so much at what point did you start to think hmm i'm i think i want to start a podcast yeah it's a good question uh i think cuz the current business i have has a podcast already but uh, i've been trying to do something on the side as well and i always looked at a podcast like it was something that I like dabble with, but it wasn't something that I'm like consistent with, but I always felt like it's a great way to maybe document, you know, kind of where I'm at. And I, and I wish, you know, I look back at over the years and like, I don't have as many pictures as I would have liked, you know, when I was kind of going through the wild phases and all that stuff. And so I felt like having a podcast is like a great way to, you know, document my challenges, document like my progress uh, and kind of show people like, you know, where I started and, the constant evolution right so i think it's been something that i've been thinking about for a little while and then um i think once you kind of announced that this is kind of what you're helping people with i figured hey well you know at least i'll get some clarity on maybe the foundational pieces that i was lacking and you know knowing if now's the time uh usually i'm pretty good at not procrastinating but i feel like this has been something that i've just been like pushing off because yeah, it's interesting. I wanted to start it a long time ago. And now that I haven't started, it's kind of like, well, what's another couple months? You know what I mean? And so I've just kind of been in this limbo state of like, yeah, should I start it? Should I wait? Like, I want it to be perfect. But I also believe in just taking action, you know, so it's been interesting. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. Very interesting. I'm glad that you got into procrastination. And I'd love for you to like, take us on like a little bit of the journey with that, because I feel like many of us could be wanting to start something and then we hit that procrastination, but sometimes it could be disguised. You know, we're not actually really aware that it's procrastinating because it's like our mind being like, oh no, now's not the time. Oh no, it's not perfect yet. Or, oh, I have so many other things going on, right? Like I already have the other podcasts and things like that. So can you kind of take us through that journey as to like, 
what was going on in your mind when you kept like procrastinating and not really doing the thing to move your podcast forward? Yeah, it was a lot of like just justifying what I'm doing. So like if I knew I had to get a recording done and then I would skip it, I was just like, oh, well, I can do it next day or I can do it another time. Right. Or it's not a big priority or, um, you know, if there was a specific topic that I wanted to talk about, if I didn't have maybe the the maybe if I wasn't feeling good that day, you know, what I mean, I would just keep pushing it and I would just keep saying, oh, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, even for example, like I had another buddy that I was going to start this with. And so I almost wanted to lean on him. And so if he wasn't available, it's just kind of like, oh, it's all good. You know, I can keep learning. I can keep figuring things out. And so it was disguised, like you said, in a variety of different ways, because with this, it was more of like everything that I do um, as I'm working through it. It's like, I feel like I'm making progress still, like I'm still making progress. So I'll go get a logo or I'll build a website or I'll start mapping out what my content actually is going to look like. Right. And so for me, I'm like, yeah, I'm making progress, you know, doing all, all these things, but not actually doing anything. Like I have a logo, but you know, what's the logo mean? You know, I was even thinking about like creating a website, you know, and creating all this stuff, but it's like, you don't actually need any of those things to start it. And so, yeah, it was a lot of justification. I'm like, oh, well, if I, maybe don't record today. Maybe I can put some time into like figuring out the color scheme that I want to use. Or if I, you know, want to launch it on this day, but then something comes up, like I, like you said, I just want it to be perfect and I just want to keep moving things around. So yeah, like it's a lot of uh, unfocused energy in a lot of different directions that has kind of led me to just hey, you know what, maybe I'll just keep pushing it. And as long as I do something on the side, then I feel okay. Uh, and then of course, after like chatting with you, you're just like, well, you're doing all these things, but you aren't doing what you actually wanted to do, which is start it. You know, like you, I got, I got a logo, I got my nice color scheme. I got all these, you know, things, but still haven't actually taken the first step in like starting it. Right. And that's really what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that you're bringing this up. And this is actually something that I was thinking about earlier today too, because it's almost like busy work. Like, yes, it's good to have, good to have the logo, good to have the color scheme, like that whole setup. But I think sometimes we prolong it and like, it doesn't need to take a whole month to come up with that. You know what I mean? Like you can do it quickly and then just start, do the actual actions that actually matter. And once you start that, then you're going to learn so much more. And so I, I feel like we, we often, and like, I've even found that with myself, like in coaching and things like that, right. We busy ourselves, like making the website that doesn't really matter if you're not actually taking the, the actual action steps in your business, that stuff doesn't matter. And so it's really getting clear on like, okay, what is really important for me to take action on today? And so when you're talking about, like, it was a lot of like unfocused energy, we're halfway through the just launch program now. Like, I feel like at this point, what we went through here, like things are really getting real. Like this is all about like action. We're really getting the things out there. So can you share, like, what has this beginning journey been for you? Because you kind of had already the color scheme, like you were thinking about that. You took that time, but we really took kind of like a deeper dive in it and like really looking at like the alignment, the personal alignment and aligning your brand and everything. So can you share like, how was that journey with, for you in getting like the clarity on starting your podcast? Yeah, it really ties into like actually having a, a blueprint, you know what I mean? To like a roadmap, like a step-by-step, -step, like this is all you need to focus on and just do it. I feel like a lot of us entrepreneurs is kind of like, we'll start something and then, you know, it's like shiny balls, like, oh, well, I can just go do this thing over here instead, right? And then we start getting pulled in a variety of different directions. So, you know, from the values, you know, again, a lot of these things like I'd thought about, but it's very different to think about it and to actually like put it into action and put it on paper. So like, you know, that this is how you want to be represented. This is how you want your persona to look. This is how you want your audience. Who is your audience? You know, what are some of the things that, uh, you know, you want people to think about or how do you want them to feel after listening to it? So some of these things like you think about, but like, you know, if you're anything like myself, I think about it now and then I forget it. You know what I mean? Just because like I'm always moving. I'm always got I've always got so many things on the go. 
Uh, and so it's been really helpful to really understand like the values, you know, of like my podcast, you know, who I am, how I want my brand to be established, what I want people to look and and like the look and feel of it. What do I want people to say about it? You know, and then uh, even the content pillars again, like that's something that I feel like I have a great knowledge, a great uh, maybe a, a great vast variety of things that I can talk about, but you know, you don't really want it to be like one day it's like mindset stuff. And then the other day it's like, you know, something completely unrelated. Like you're just telling a story that has nothing to do with it. Or you're talking about like gaming or something, right? Like, so it's having like focus, it's having like the clarity. Uh, and like I said, I think that step-by-step -step blueprint that you're providing is kind of showing me, these are really the only things I need to focus on right now. And then as you continue to get the clarity on these things, you can move forward pretty comfortably and confidently. Uh, and then actually make it happen. You know what I mean? I think that was the biggest thing, like make it happen. Cause I know, uh, and I think you may even ask this at some point, but I think the idea of like me wanting to start this podcast from a long while ago is again, just reiterating what I said before, this documenting my journey. Like I don't really, of course I want people to listen to it, but I'm like doing it more so for me. You know what I mean? Like I want to be able to provide the things say the things that i want to say i want to be able to go back you know five years from now uh and you know look at all the things look at where i was look at the challenges that i was facing look at my mindset at the time you know look at the relationships that i had like look at those things objectively uh, and just see the evolution and like i said i wish i had started this years ago you know and it's always been this thing of justification and yeah maybe i'm not ready yet maybe i want to have you know, the higher quality mics and the higher quality cameras. And I want to have a good setup and I want to do stuff in person. Like there's always these, there's always something, you know, that kind of keeps pushing it. Um, and now it kind of feels good because it's realizing even through this, you know, like I said, I have a buddy that I want to be doing this stuff with. And, you know, I'm kind of like leaning on him. Like if he's not available, then we just wait, you know what I mean? And so it's kind of given me the clarity to recognize like, yes, we want to do this together. But at the same time, there is a, part of me that wants to do this and so if we can create it in a way where i can share my story he can share his story and then we can come together and share stuff together it's different than i'd initially anticipated i normally anticipate it like hey we're just going to do this together and if he's not available then i just kind of you know have to wait which uh again it, it feeds into this idea of like oh let's just keep taking our time with it rather than actually doing something and again it's easy to point fingers oh i'm not doing it because he's not available today you know i'm not we're not being able to do this because he's not there. Right. And like, you feel good, but like, you don't at the end of the day. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So tell us a little bit about like the confidence that this clarity had brought then. Cause it kind of sounds like at first, like just doing it, you and your buddy and thinking like, Oh, well, if he's not available, then like, that's it. But now having been able to like discuss with us in the group and everything, you really started to realize that, Oh, wait, so I could still have solo episodes and we can mix it up and make like a really cool show that includes both. And so it looks like from an outside view, I'm like, it looks like a little bit of confidence had increased that like, Hey, I can actually do this myself too. And like, we can come together and it can be something really powerful. So can you kind of share, like, how do you feel like this clarity has really helped you have that confidence to move forward? Yeah, it's an interesting question because for me, like I would say in most of the rest of the areas of my life, like I'm normally being able to take action. And I feel like when you have that area of your life where you're not able to take action, it does actually impact the rest of it, whether you choose to believe it or not. And so, you know, I'm thriving in my other business, you know, my fitness, all this stuff, like everything is good. But then when I try and I'm trying to start this podcast, there's like a block, you know, and that resistance comes out in a lot of different ways. And so now that I've kind of been able to push through that resistance and the blocks, like I feel like everything else is back into the flow state, right? It's kind of like you have like streams, like imagine it's a weird analogy, but imagine you have like four or five streams of water and like one of them stops, right? It's like the other ones have to like overcompensate. And then this is how you get overworked. This is how you get burnt out. This is where your mind starts going crazy. This is where you stop taking action. This is where... Um, maybe you come away from your normal processes and the normal your normal flow state of being able to get things done. Um, but yeah, there's definitely an increased amount of confidence in me being able to actually take action, you know, and and understand that I can do this in a in a variety of different ways. Uh, and so now having that, it's it's really interesting because the other areas of my life are starting to flow. Like yesterday, I had a whole recording day. 
and like creating some lessons for for my program and like I, that was something I've been putting off for a little while. And it's interesting. I don't know if they're a hundred percent correlated, but I know when I wasn't taking action with the podcast, I also wasn't taking action in other areas, you know? So it's just funny how there is that correlation if there is or not, but I think there is. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, you know, we started to get some confidence here. And then next thing you know, I ended up being able to create about 10 plus lessons yesterday. So felt pretty good. You know, I, I'm feeling it. And uh, I think again, like, entrepreneurs as a whole we like to keep moving forward and if we start getting stagnant like it really some people you know me especially like if i don't feel like i'm moving forward then i almost shut down a bit you know what i mean and it's like i slowly start to like shut down like go back into my shell uh and you can't do that right so yeah it's it's definitely improved my confidence going forward in the program uh with the podcast and frankly in all the other areas that I need to continue thriving at a, a an elite level right, or a high level. So. Yeah. I love that because it's so true. Like it does affect every other area of our life. I mean, it's really that powerful. And so that's incredible that you've, you know, noticed that in other areas of your life too. That's awesome. And I just want to take a moment to acknowledge, uh, we have Yvonne and Sam in the chat. Thank you so much. Sam is in our just launch program too. And it's like so fun, so much fun. So maybe Devin, do you want to share, like, what is your favorite part of being in just launch? Yeah, I think there, there's a couple things. I think one, obviously, because you have a successful podcast, you can kind of show us the, the do's and the don'ts. So for me, like, I'm very much like, I'd rather have a consistent blueprint that I can follow that I know that I'm not wasting time doing things that I don't need, right? So I think that, uh, and then the second thing, of course, is the community, right? Like we got a couple other people, uh, Sam, of course, we got Lisa, uh, and it's it's awesome. Like yesterday we had our call and like we had a question and, you know, just the way that the community comes together and we provide solutions and value to each other. And like, you know, we, we can bounce ideas off each other. Uh, we hold each other accountable, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's it's fun. You know, I, I've always been really big on like the idea of having that community. And so uh, I've always been like maybe the one hosting it. So I've never really experienced it from like a actual uh, like a like a client. You know what I mean? Like I've never actually experienced it from that end. So, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely been fun. It's super uh, helpful. And uh yeah, I, I'm really enjoying the experience. Yeah, amazing. Oh, well, so am I. It's so fun. Our, our Thursday calls are always so great. And just like, I think everybody vibes together so well. We always have a good, good time and then just supporting each other. It's it's really amazing. And I'm, of course, happy to have you in there. And Sam and Lisa too, like, it's just so great. So you kind of like shared it already, but if you hadn't of joined just launch, like where do you think you would be in terms of your podcast and even your business, like everything else that you're doing? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, because if I if I didn't really join, uh, I think I'd still be in like idea phase or like justification or like just yeah, it'll it'll come to when it comes to. Um and I, I think for the podcast itself, like sure, maybe I would have been able to get away with you know, the, the lack of progress there. But I think what really would have affected me is how it's going to affect the rest of my life. You know, if I start slowing down and I'm not as productive and I'm in my mind more, it's like, cause I, and I, for me, it's like, if I know I have to get something done and I don't do it, it really weighs on me. You know what I mean? Like it really weighs on me where it's like, I, I need to do these things and I'm not doing it. Uh, and that comes out in a variety of different areas. And so, yeah, it's interesting. Like I said, it's, to see the correlation between like actually taking action on something that I've been wanting to do for, you know, months to even almost a year at this point and like actually getting the foundations put in place to take action on it. And now seeing even over the short couple of weeks, how other areas of my other business in my life uh, are actually improving now because of it. You know what I mean? Just being more optimal, taking more action uh, and moving forward pretty, pretty confidently. So yeah, if I, didn't join I think things would probably be uh probably stagnant still you know what I mean and I would just be like oh well there's always next year right um so yeah it feels good to actually get stuff going and I'm normally one to get stuff going so it's so interesting that I couldn't do it with this so yeah good mm -hmm. amazing okay so what what do you think was like 
the real key thing to your procrastination. Cause I just want to help if there's anybody listening where they're like, Ooh, I'm procrastinating a lot too. Right. What do you think was the key thing that helped you move along? Was it like the clarity that you obtained? Was it the group support? Was it like actually having the blueprint? Like, do you think there was one specific thing that you were like, this is it, this is the problem. This is what I needed to fix in order to be able to keep moving forward. I think it really is those three things. I think without the clarity, you can't move forward with any sort of confidence because you're just like, you're just moving forward just to move forward. And, you know, you can, I, I definitely know people and I've been that person myself where you just take action, but you're not actually taking any action that moves forward you know what I mean? Or actually does anything meaningful, like you're just doing stuff to just do stuff like that busy work, right? Mm -hmm. So that I think with the community, like I said, like we kind of hold each other accountable, we have ideas for each other, like it's a great group that we have and just being able to communicate, bounce ideas, hold each other accountable and like, it just just see the progress, you know what I mean? Like, if someone doesn't do anything, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're going to be calling each other out. And I think that having that aspect of it would be pretty fun. Uh, and then of course, it's the blueprint, like, you know, like I could look right now, like on Google, how can I start a podcast? And there's going to be five different ways, right? One's going to tell me, oh, just do it. You know what I mean? One's going to tell me, oh, you need to have all these things mapped out. The other one's going to tell me, oh, you should have your values and your brand message and all these things, right? The other thing's going to tell me maybe run ads or just start connecting with other people, even though you don't have a following. So there's a variety of different ways, you know, that you can do this or like anything, um, but actually having like, just stick to this process and just do it, um, from someone who has been in my shoes and now has the results that I want, you know, that's the best thing, the three best things, the clarity, the community. And then, like I said, the blueprint from someone who has been in my shoes and now has the recognition that I want for my podcasts. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. So would you say that would be the reason why you picked just launch over some of these other podcast programs like or podcast information online where they you know also give you a similar blueprint to like go oh, launch it like what made you pick this program over others yeah you know uh even before you joined the program i was kind of aware of your podcast i didn't know you had a book though uh and so i've been following along on the podcast like i think energetically like we align with you know some of the things that you talk about some of the pillars just like you know your morality and your ethics and I think that aligns with kind of like who I am I think for me whenever I make decisions like that it, I do have to align energetically so not to say that like uh maybe I wouldn't have connected with other people but I just felt like from what I did see I've seen enough to make that decision uh and just move forward confidently so yeah, every every relationship, every business opportunity, even when we enroll clients, you know, it's always based on the energy. Like I really have to feel aligned with it, very selective, you know, with who I work with and, and who I want to give my time to. So I, I just felt we were a great fit. Uh feel like I've been following you for a little while. And then over obviously the time that we've, you know, got to know each other, I feel like, you know, we did align that way. And yeah, I, I just think it was just a, a pretty easy decision, you know, as I uh, you know, weighed the pros and cons as I normally do when it comes to making a decision like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I totally agree. Totally <laughs> in alignment. So thank you for that. So we're halfway through the program now. What are you most looking forward to in like this next half? Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, I guess it's actually just launching it. You know what I mean? Like knowing that it's not going to be perfect nor do I want it to be, you know what I mean? But like, now that we're kind of going through like, you know, our brand messaging, like we're getting our logos, we have our, um, our actual picture created, like the trailers, like getting all that stuff kind of created, it's becoming real, right? I think that's the idea. It's like, you know, it's been an idea phase for so long that like, now it's like, okay, like now I can take my logo and actually put it on like my art. <laughs> I'm blanking right now, but it's like the, the little picture. The cover art? Yeah. The cover art, yes. <laughs> I don't know where I'm where my head's at. But yeah, the cover art, you know, putting my logo on it. Uh even knowing like the the tips there to like how to make it stand out. Uh, you know, titling it, because there's a variety of different ways that you can do it, right? So I think it's just kind of like it, it feels good to finally get to a place where it's just like, yeah, like it is becoming real and uh 
you know, probably in the next 60 or so ish days, you know, I might actually have my first episode up. Uh, and I think that was the biggest thing. Like I've always had this thing where I wanted to start it, just haven't. And then again, I've just been, yeah, okay, okay, okay. But now it's kind of like, cool. Like it's actually going to be started, you know, and then it's, uh, something that we can continue to get better with as the time goes on. So, so I, I feel like I see where I want to take it. You know what I mean? Like I see the end goal of like where I maybe want to go with it. But we can't get there if you don't start. <laughs> like you just, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great. I mean, this is, we've really built up the past few weeks. And like, like I said at the beginning, like it's kind of like go time. And this is like the really exciting time because then we get to put it out there. And then as a group, give everybody feedback, like on the trailers, the descriptions and all of that. So I'm really looking forward to the next few weeks. I think it's going to be amazing and super excited to see all of you just launch and put your things out there. It's going to be so great. So what would you say to someone who's kind of like on the fence about just launch? They've been trying to start a podcast and they're like, well, I could kind of do it on my own, like similar to where you were. What would you say to them? Yeah, just just simply put, if you could have done it on your own, you would have done it by now. Because I know I'm definitely someone that could have done it on my own and I didn't. So yeah, like it just depends on like how committed you are and how serious you are to it. Just understand that there are people that have been in your shoes and now have the results that you want. Like, sure, you might have to invest into it, but like, what's it worth to you? You know what I mean? Like, if you're serious and you're committed, like you got to make that investment because otherwise you're going to probably be in the same boat that I was. And next thing you know, a year, two years go by and you're just still doing busy work, not actually getting it done. So yeah, it just depends. If you're actually committed to it, like I would just say, have that conversation and see. Don't let finances be the thing that holds you back from actually taking action because it's only been, like you said, halfway through and I already have a lot more confidence. I have a lot more clarity. I actually have actionable steps, you know, on what I need to do on how to launch this thing. And like I said, it actually affects other areas of my life. It's not like, oh, like I'm just doing a podcast. Like the other areas of my life are continuing to flow again. So it's more than just, oh, I just started a podcast. It's like, no, I'm back in my element. So I know for anybody that's on the fence and that anybody that's been trying to do this for a little while, I know it's affecting other areas. So have that chat. You know what I mean? If you have questions, ask them. But like, like I said, like you're going to invest one way or another. You're either going to invest with time and it might take you a couple of years or you're going to invest with money and you'll actually have a lot more clarity in, in a couple of weeks than you could ever imagine. So yeah, commit. Or don't mm -hmm. stop wasting everyone's time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate that. So good. And yeah, I mean, just to kind of add on the point that you're saying that like, okay, starting a podcast, you know, it's just a podcast, but like what we're getting into too is like how it could actually work in other areas of your life, like how it's actually, it could become an essential piece of your personal brand. And so it really does work synergistically with everything that you have going on and so then in that point like in that respect it is kind of like worth the financial and it's worth the time because it's actually building something sustainable for yourself so thank you for sharing that was there anything else that you wanted to share Devin like I, I appreciate everything that you um shared today and love this conversation did you have any last words that you wanted to share today before we wrap up I think you just said it there. I think the idea of like, remember, it's not just a podcast. Like this can complement a lot of other things that you're doing. Like this could help my current business. This could help my other business. Like this could help get more eyes on me and attention on me. Like this could allow me to build the authority and connections and relationships I wouldn't otherwise have, right? Like, especially for me, like my big piece eventually is to like do something like almost like a talk show where I can start connecting with other people. But you got to have tenure. You got to have some, you know, skin in the game. Like you got to actually know what you're doing. You know what I mean? And so if I want to connect with some of these bigger players, you know, I got to start and I got to be clear on these things. I got to be good at it, you know? And uh, yeah, I think like, like I was saying yesterday, like my end goal, like I would love to get to a place where it's like, you know, I'm interviewing some of the, like the top athletes or entrepreneurs or people in every kind of industry, like connecting with those people, like picking their brain, you know, really understand that stuff, but you're not going to go from nobody to doing that. You know what I mean? Especially if they're, you know, if you're connecting with artists and musicians, like I love Eminem, like I love to be able to, you know, interview, you heard it here first, peeps. if it does happen, I'm manifesting it. <laughs> yes. But that's the idea, right? Like, I, I would love to be able to get to a place where it's like, I host a talk show, 
you know, and, and I can get him on. So it's the opportunities are really endless, you know, when you actually commit to it. Um, and it's an asset no matter how you look at it, because whether people want to do their due diligence and you have tons of content on there, uh, or you want to shift and connect, uh, make connections and relationships with people, you know, they're in different places uh, in business or wherever else. So a lot of benefits can come from having a podcast. And uh, I think that was a big perspective shift, you know, for me. So. Yeah, I love that. We're totally manifesting it. Eminem is coming on your talk show. Totally. I love it. And it's kind of like what I said yesterday too, because you're really attaching or you're seeing the value and the personal benefit to yourself in starting your podcast. So it's not like starting a podcast and then hoping that, you know, people want to listen to it. It's something that you're doing for yourself too. And that's really something that I try to work on in the program to find like that intrinsic motivation, because that ultimately is what creates sustainability. Like whether it's a podcast or even entrepreneurship, right? Like if we don't get the the immediate results that we're looking for, we want to be fueled from within. And you have created like this whole plan. So like this podcast is fueled with like your future plans and everything, right? And I really believe that that is the sustainable piece, like that's what is going to ensure that you're continuously, you know, motivated to keep doing it no matter what's happening, because you see the growth that is going to provide you. And I think that's so important for whatever initiative we're doing. So thank you for bringing that up. Really good. Yeah, most definitely. Amazing. Well, this was so good, Devin. Thank you for being here. And I want to thank everybody for watching. So Sam, Yvonne, um delphine stefano i appreciate you guys for being here thank you for watching everybody else if you are watching this on the replay please put hashtag replay so that we can know that you're here appreciate all of you Devin. thank you so much for your time today it was really so great chatting with you yeah pleasure as always and uh sure we'll chat soon yeah absolutely